Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Wednesday, June 25th, 2014. And we're going to do the facts of the matter. And today's it is, what is it to be the bottom line in our ministry to others? Consider this. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart, and of a good conscience, and of faith unfeigned. Charity out of a pure heart, meaning you give without expecting anything back. You don't claim it on your taxes. You don't brag about it. You just do it. Here's three key points that'll help you to, you know, tell you what it is to be the bottom line in our ministry to others. Love from a pure heart. That is simply loving people with no strings attached. While they were butchering Jesus on the cross, Luke chapter 23 verse 34. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. That is pure love, and that is how we are to love others. We don't condemn them for what they are doing to us, because it's not us they're doing it to. It's Christ they are doing it to. So we find no fault in them because there is no fault towards us. We are to love them as if they have done nothing wrong to us because they haven't. Two, love from a clear conscience. <laughs> that is, simply ministering to people out of pure motives guilt-free, and that is only possible if I understand what God wants me to do, my calling. I accept my God-giving limitations in fulfilling that calling, my humanity. I appropriate the unconditional grace of God for my life and my calling. My resources. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry... As we have received mercy, we faint not. And three, we are to love from a sincere faith. That is, simply loving people without hypocrisy. Romans chapter 12 verse 9. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Don't have nothing to do with the evil, the world, the ungodly, the sinners, and cleave to that which is good, your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, Christ himself, the word. Judas's kiss in betraying Christ is illustrated of hypocritical love. Luke chapter 22 verses 47 and 48. Verse 47. And while he yet spake, behold a multitude. And he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, went before them and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him. Verse 48. 
But Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? And that is what is to be the bottom line in our ministry to others. We are to do it out of sincerity, without expecting anything back, without expecting great riches awaiting us in heaven just because we do what God has called us to do. And that's a good one right there, because that's what a lot of Christians do. Oh, I'm going to do what Christ wants me to do because when I get to heaven, I'm going to have a mansion and all my all this stuff up there. No better than Judas, in my opinion. Doing something to get something in return. It's no better than what most of the world does. And that is the facts of the matter for June 25th, 2014. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. I love you guys so very much. God bless.